<laughs> Hi friends, thank you so much for watching our video today. Hey, before it's over, would you do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button and click the bell to get notified of future videos. Today we're going to hike up Palm Canyon. It's going to be a lot of fun, so come along. Friends, uh, lots of wind and lots of sun made some of these clips really hard to shoot. Sorry for the distortion. Morning, friends, and good morning, Palm Canyon. <laughs> Well, we've been hiking all around the canyon and up to it and back and in the desert some, but we haven't actually been way up into the canyon to see the palms. So today's the day. We're going up to see the palms. <laughs> Come on, we'll have some fun. Here to go into uh, Palm Canyon. And uh, what do you know? We just meet friends everywhere we go. <laughs> here we got uh, Dave and Christine. They're out here camping in the uh, Kofa National Preserve too. And uh, what were you saying? Who, who did you camp with last year? Mike. Mike and Rick. Mike O'Connor of Living Free and Rick Reynolds, his good buddy. And uh, that's awesome because uh, Mike is a good buddy of mine. Well, they were watching uh, my last video and they saw that uh, I had to blow out and they saw that I had a little trouble with water. Uh, and uh, he said that he had some extra water here. That was real nice of him. Uh, thanks, I really appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna be leaving here in the next uh, day or two, maybe spend uh, one night or two nights more. And I got enough bottled water for that. Uh, I'm good for the next day or two and um, then uh, we're going to be heading back uh, probably up to Parker to Walmart or maybe down to Yuma. I haven't decided which yet and we'll figure out what we're going to do on a more permanent basis. But it's real kind of you. Thank you. So uh, uh, what did you think of that video? I liked it. Yeah? Is that a little frightening to, to be in a, an RV and have a blowout? <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, about uh, six or seven months ago, I was just outside of Las Vegas, and I had my first blowout ever. I seen that one too. You saw that one? <laughs> wow, these guys are faithful watchers. That's good. All right. Well, we're going to go on up to the canyon. We've been hiking all around the desert and up to the canyon a few times uh, in the last few days we've been here, but we haven't actually gone up into the canyon see if we can see any of the wild mountain bighorn sheep. So we're going to go up there and see what we can see. Well, see, there you go. You never know who you're going to meet out here in the middle of the desert. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, it's so nice to meet you and so nice to know you. And uh, we'll catch up with you another time, okay? Well, I was talking to those nice people and uh, bandits slipped right off the leash and got out here into the rocks and I didn't even know it. And uh, he's sitting here suffering now with some stickers in his paws, aren't you? How do you like that, huh? That doesn't feel very good, does it? Well, that's why Papa has you on a leash. Yeah, Papa, my feet, they just hurt real bad right now. Can you give me a hand? Yeah, I'll give you a hand, but you stay on the leash, okay? Okay, Papa, I won't get off it anymore. Okay. Well, walking down the road here and uh, up to uh, go actually into the canyon today. What do we see but an encampment of tents, and vehicles, and people right next to where we're camped in the Millennium Falcon. And uh, looks like they've got a real convention of campers going on here. Pretty amazing, a lot of a lot of folks. So, what are you guys? All family? Hi, friends. Just all friends, huh? Yeah. I can't hear that first word. YouTube. YouTube friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm Kathy Milligan. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Friendly. Nice yeah, we are uh, Papa and the Bandit. Yeah, it's like uh, like uh, the old Burt Reynolds movie, Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, I remember those. I'm old enough for those. Oh, 
Oh, you got a choya right on your shoe. See there? So Chase and the bandit out into the uh, rocks to save him from uh, the choya that he had stepped on. I stepped on some myself. So this uh, caravan of uh, hiking YouTube friends and campers, uh, rejects, <laughs> said that they would give me a hand getting these uh, choya spines out. Let's take a look and see what we got going. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that, there we go. We got some uh, flyers going on from a, uh, a uh, what do they call those, a handyman or? Leatherman. Leatherman, yeah, well, Leatherman's the original one. Uh, love to Wander. Love to Wander, okay, and Mike, and you are? I'm Monica, my YouTube channel is Always an Adventure Luna. Always an Adventure time. Luna? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you gotta add that last part so you can find me. Ah, okay. And you again I'm were David. And David. And when I'm watching YouTube, I'm watching Huck Outdoors. Huck Outdoors. <laughs> All right. Hey! Yeah. Hey! And, and you are I'm Wes. Wes, you have a YouTube channel? Uh, I kind of do, kind of don't. I don't really post much. I'm more on Instagram. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you want to say how we find you? Yeah, you can uh, type Wes Foles. Wes. Bees and boy, OLZ. Okay. Good. For my viewers, they can find you. You are? Jason of Huck Outdoors. Jason of Huck Outdoors. And, uh, oh, there we go. Cool. There it is. Look at that. Huck Outdoors. The desert. It's a PG desert here at Kofa. You know, I thought Kofa was a, a native name, a Native American name. But it's not. I thought Kofa was a Native American name, but it's not. You know what it stands for? King of Arizona. Yeah, it's the contraction. K-O-F-A. And that's the name of the gold mine that used to mine up here in these mountains. And, uh, well, all around these mountains. And uh, you can... If you go up, the, when you go up there, if you notice, there's these white veins that come down the mountain, and I'm I'm certainly no gemologist or mineralogist, but I think that's quartz, and where there's quartz, there's frequently gold. So, yeah. yeah. There's some gold in these hills. It's golden in their hills. He's got to go through a whole ton of solid rock to find it. Yeah. Mike to meet you. Hike to be human. Hike to be human. All right. So uh, let's get you on there and get that again. That's a uh, hike to be human. Yep. Don and Kathy, hike to be Don human. Don and Kathy. And then tell them the number two. Uh, okay, so it's hike, the number two, the letter B, and human. Okay, awesome. Well. He bandit ran off when I was talking to those other people in the Jeep. He got off the leash and ran out there into the rocks, and I had to go get him, and he had one in his foot, so I had to pull it out of his foot, and then in that process, I, I got one. Does he cry or yip or anything? He doesn't. That's no. Funny. My dog doesn't either. I always wonder. Occasionally, if they go deep enough when I pull it out, he yips. Yeah, I guess it's a lot of maybe fat in the paws. Maybe I can see or looking at something. What do you see? Oh, it's probably a rabbit. Yeah, he, he doesn't know. He, uh, he thinks that he sees a lot of stuff. Don't you, Bandit? Now, Papa, don't you make fun of me. I do see a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh. All right. Man, isn't that an iconic picture? A saguaro cactus growing up tall out in the middle of the desert in the Kofa Mountains in the background. Those solid rock mountains that, that miners used to mine gold out of. Amazing. Well, here are some of the placards just at the beginning of the Palm Canyon hike. Pause and read if you'd like to. Well, here's a little bit of what the uh, beginning of the trail looks like. It's not too bad, and uh, as it goes up higher, it's uh, more challenging, 
so uh, we'll just uh, we'll see well we've had a few people come down the trail after being up in the canyon and saying they saw a sheep and saying that there are some sheep right up here in those uh, little bit greener belts going up into the mountains so I haven't seen any yet I'm gonna get out the binoculars and see if I can see any and if I can then I'll know where they are and maybe be able to tell a photo a picture of them for the video we'll see <laughs> yeah it gives you an idea of what's up here in this uh, canyon it's tough contrast with the bright lights and the dark shadows but that's what we're dealing with we'll go this way a few degrees and look back out the entrance to the canyon pretty spectacular still no goats <laughs> all canyon it's wonderful Gorgeous, beautiful, stupendous, astonishing, wonderful. Maybe I already said wonderful. I'm starting to repeat. And this is what it looks like out in the valley. Down in the valley, valley so low. Hang your head over, hear the wind blow. <laughs> it was a great hike. Right in that bright shiny spot right there. Going up that crack. is the California palms, the only naturally growing California palms in the state of Arizona. There they are. And here you see a pair of Washington palms, my favorite. <laughs> well, it was a great hike. Saw the palms. Haven't seen any uh, bighorn sheep yet. Still got to get down to the parking lot, back to the parking lot. So maybe we'll see something on the way down there. <laughs> this is the habitat of the native wild Arizona bighorn sheep. Very, very rocky and steep. A little bit of greenery for them to eat. And all throughout the mountains, there are springs of water and catchments, natural catchments, that they can get drinks from. This is something that I think is uh, pretty spectacular, and that's these spires, these chimneys that come off of the main mountain and just go straight up in the air. Pretty gorgeous kind of mirrored a little bit by <laughs> the saguaro cactus that uh, kind of dots the hillside here. Spectacular place, Palm Canyon. Looks to me like these choya are uh, getting about ready to blossom going to be big, beautiful, bright yellow. This whole desert is just going to be filled with bright yellow choya flowers. Probably the next good rain, whatever that might be. You never know out here in the desert, but it is monsoon season. Well, friends, that's the hike up Palm Canyon in Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. We had a great time, even though we didn't see any wild bighorn sheep. Dad, burn it. <laughs> well, maybe next time. 
But thanks a lot for coming, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Okay? See you next time.